that the Russians play a very dirty game and Westerners uh, have a very hard time seeing through. The Russians are extremely naive when it comes to the Russians. Extremely Russians. naive. I mean, so many Westerners praise Putin and they praise... I'm what Russians did in Syria. When the Syrian army launched an uh, offensive to capture Raqqa in 2000 and, uh, 2016 in the last year, they sent the Syrian army sent most elite desert hawk units of the Syrian military in the deserts of Syria uh, to capture a military base, which is one of the largest bases in Syria, and to use that as a platform uh, to launch attacks to retake Raqqa. Well, what happened was they got close to Alt uh, Althara city or Alt city, and what happened is ISIS launched a huge counteroffensive with not a single Russian airstrike. At that point, the Russians were conducting hundreds of airstrikes a day, and they did nothing. The Syrian military came out with a letter, and I read that letter, and they said this is absolute utter betrayal from the Russians, and we sent our most elite uh, men, our best men, and they died in the deserts to ISIS. It was a fucking shame. And they retreated, and they haven't been, uh, they retreated back to their positions, and they haven't made an advance in that area since then. So people need to understand the Russians there to maintain their military base, and they just signed a 50, I think it was 45-year contract, uh, a lease for the military bases. And not only that, but they're establishing military bases without the support of the mil Syrian military in Kurdish territory. So Russia is not there to fucking end the war. Russia is not there to, for, for peace. They're just for their interests.